Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance. The working people. An interesting challenge. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. We accept. I am organizing a discreet meeting with some like-minded friends to discuss trades unions. Alas, the police seem to have noticed my activities. They've stuck to me like flies on Shizon. In any case, I need you to help me get to the meeting without the interference of the police. Tonight, sundown, the usual place. I'll be there. You know, I had similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne. Our next worthy ally awaits us in a nearby pub. <laughs> Onwards. No doubt the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear.
location, one hour. Right you are, Mr. Marks, sir. I need your skills. All right, then. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I require your help. Thank you, my friend. Keep your wits about you, Rook. Oh, my God. Shall I do? I believe our work here is complete. Come, let's slip away and get to the meeting. I do appreciate your assistance in this matter. Only when workers are able to assemble freely and in strength will we be able to achieve the reforms we most assuredly deserve. Might I trouble you to stay nearby until the meeting is over? I fear we may yet meet with some mischief. You'll get your 30 pieces, chum. Don't you worry. It seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will you fetch the gentleman back here? I would look him in the eye and ask why he went back on his brethren. And what possessed you to do this thing? Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Mill Sea, any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please go. I thank you, my friend. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself.